I'm I'm like, boy, what? Boy, you got me up. You hear me? Boy, I swear to God, you talking all that rah rah stuff on the phone. Pull up. Tell me I will kill you, boy. Pull up. What's up? But I'll put one on my hip. You feel me? I'll run up the stairs. I'm beating on the door. I'm like, what's up? All that talking on the phone. Pop out. Step outside. Step outside. She said she hated how I treat her cause I'm a cheater. I'm a cheater. If she told you that I need her, then don't believe her. Believe. That's why I'm not with nobody. Cause I don't wanna hurt nobody. Baby, nobody. I love you, but I hate to say I think I love her too. And she ain't got no problem doing things you never do. I ain't focused on no bitch, I'm trying to keep my pockets blue. Run it up a hundred ways to increase the revenue. Bitch, I gave you my love and you crossed me. My love, you asked me for a ring, that's when you lost me. Ring, that's when See you, you tweaking on the gram, must be in your feelings. What up, Moolah gang? Gang? Gang, it's your boy Mac Moolah, aka Mr. Moolah Mac, and I'm back. I said I'm back. Biggity, back, back, back. Back with another video. In today's video, I got another story time for the Moolah Gang because y'all know that that's what y'all come to my channel to see. Before I get started in the video, make sure y'all smash that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel, follow your boy on Instagram if you're not already, and make sure y'all follow me on Twitter, Snapchat, SoundCloud, and Spotify, and TikTok. I drop a new YouTube video every day and a new song every week, so make sure y'all check me out. Now let's get into the video. So look, y'all, this is the only time, this is probably the maddest and like the really the only time Time I went into like a whole like, like a rage over a female, bro. I'm gonna tell y'all the story. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? So I'm messing with this girl, right? I was this was like two years ago, so I was like 19, right? I'm messing with this girl, whatever, boom, like that. I fell in love with a girl. I don't do that a lot, you know what I'm saying? I don't love a lot of girls. I probably only only really meant. I only really said I love a girl and meant it to like two girls, bro. Girl I'm with now and goddamn a girl from like a year or two ago. So this story is about that girl from two years. So I'm messing with her and shit, right? And like I, I remember like one time like. Like, it, it used to be an on and off thing at first. So, like, I'd talk to her. We'd be together. I'd do some. She might do some. We'd be arguing. And then we'd just be on and off. Stop talking for two weeks. Come back. Start talking for four months. Stop talking for another. You feel me like that? Now, remember, I'm not the nigga that's usually trying to fight over no female, bro. I just don't do it. For what? What am I fighting over a female for? Either you finna fuck with him, finna fuck with me, or you finna fuck with both of us. If that's what you want to do, I don't care. As long as I don't get no diseases. As long as, like, I don't give a damn. You feel me? So, that's kind of the situation that it was going on type shit. So, anyway, boom. It was one. It was one like it was one day we was off like you know we just talk on and off but this day we was actually we was off you know what i'm saying so so like we weren't talking no more but like we still like talk every now and then like probably like three four messages a day like how you doing you know what i'm saying are you good she be like yeah i'm good whatever like that so one particular day bro like we ain't talked for like three four days straight like at all like not a text message not a call not a snapchat i wasn't watching her story she wasn't watching mine Nothing. Bro, I'm at the crib chilling, and I get a call from her, right? So I'm like, okay, you feel me? I don't know why she calling me, but you feel me? I fuck with her, I love her, so let me answer the phone type shit. So I answer the phone, and it's a nigga, and he on the he on the phone talking so much hot shit, right? Now I got some people, I got some homies that I I I, I used to mess with, like they was like my homies, you know what I'm saying? Used to smoke with them, used to kick it with them, like they really my homies, and they had passed away. Now I don't tell a lot of people, you feel me, about my situation. Like I don't tell too many motherfuckers, like okay, this this person had died like this, this person died like this, or this. My homie from this place type shit, right? But she was one of the girls that I shared it all with. So this nigga on the phone, like saying, like, boy, I'll beat your ass if you text her one more. You hear me? This is my girl, you feel me? Wooty woo that the third. If you want to be laying with your homies and them, cause she told me about all that shit, you be it'll be best of you to just stop messing with her. So I ain't even mad over the girl. I'm, I'm, I mean I was, I was already mad. Now look, Mako is crazy, bro. Mako get mad real quick. Well, it don't take it, 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 it I don't get mad quick, but I when I get mad, I'm mad, my nigga. Like I'm mad, bro. It's not, I'm it's no, it's not, I'm not coming back. All I see is red, it's no saving. So when he started talking on the phone about me messing with to stop messing with her, I'm already pissed off. Then this nigga started talking about my homies and shit. Which mean that this girl done told this nigga my business. Like all my business, like you feel me? This nigga know me. I don't even know who the fuck this nigga is. It's the regular phone. He ain't even FaceTime. I don't know who this nigga is. I don't know who it could be. None of that. I'm pissed. I'm like, boy, what? Boy, you got me stuck. You hear me? Boy, I swear to God. You talking all that rah rah stuff on the phone, nigga? Pull up, nigga. Fuck you talking about? I will kill you, boy. Pull up. What's up? So he talking, he talking. I'm like, boy, I'm not finna go back and forth with you. Just check it out. 
hang the phone up. Still had her location on my phone. I don't know if she forgot that or not. If he called from her phone, that mean they in the same location. You feel me? So I instantly checked the location. They in some motherfucker yeah. like 30, 40 minutes away from my crib. But it wasn't, it wasn't her crib type shit. Like, I already knew type shit. So I get to call them my homies, bro. I get to call them. I ain't talked to these niggas in so long, bro. These are street niggas that I used to hang out with. I ain't talked to these niggas in so long. I get to call them. I'm like, bro, motherfuckers got me fucked up, nigga. I'm finna ride. Is you trying to ride? They like, hell yeah. Bro, I swear to God, we get in the car. Everybody packing. Like, you know, I'm talking about, nigga, we got the sticks on us. Like, I ain't have one. Cause, like, you feel me? I ain't just, I ain't have one yet. I'm so mad. All I see is red, bro. Now, when I say, when I say I got an anger problem and I say I'm crazy, I'm crazy. But usually, I get mad as hell and I get over it quick. Like, I couldn't be mad on no whole, like, yeah, I had to be a whole nother type of mad. To be mad on a whole 40, 30 minute drive to a nigga crib to do something to him and then actually do it and still be mad the whole time. You feel me? Like, you had to disrespect me, but I felt disrespected. Like, ain't no nigga ever said that shit to me. You feel me? And plus, I feel like, nigga, my homies ain't here to even defend themselves. You know what I'm saying? Fuck, is you talking down about some dead homies for that they ain't even here to fight you, slap you, or nothing? Like, that's some bitch ass shit to me anyway. So, on top of that being my homies, I'm having a bad day. Call me off my bitch phone. Nigga, I'm, I'm ready to go. Nigga, I'm ready to go all the way with your ass. So, I swear to God, I pull up to the crib. Me and the whole, me and the gang, we like, it's four of us in the car, bro. We four deep. We four deep, but it's like six guns in the car. I can't make this shit up, bro. We ain't discussed what was finna happen, but we just knew we finna address this nigga, and if it had to go down, it was finna go down in this motherfucker. So, I get out the shit, you know what I'm saying? I grab, I ain't gonna lie, you feel me? If this could be a joke. I could be saying this for entertainment, so I ain't criminalating myself at all. But I put one on my hip, you feel me? I run up the stairs, I'm beating on the door. I'm like, nigga, what's up, nigga? All that shit you was talking on the phone, nigga, pop out. Step outside, nigga, step outside. This bitch ass nigga gonna open up the curtain on the side of the window and start talking shit. Like, nigga, nigga, nigga. You, you don't look tough, bro. You don't look tough. You must have, I don't know. He looked, first he looked spooky. Then he started talking shit. And my girl behind him, like, grabbing him back. So I'm already, I ain't even thinking about her, but that pissed me off even more. Cause I'm like, nigga, bitch, you with this nigga, like, he your nigga or something. Like, you ain't come out here trying to calm me down. You trying to calm him down. I'm finna go all the way. Both of y'all got me. I, like, man, I'm finna, woo. My blood was boiling. Adrenaline was rushing. Heart was beating fast. Mine was racing, bro. So this nigga, like, bro. So then my homies come behind me. They're like, no, nah, what's up? What's all that shit you was saying about, little bro? What's all that shit you was saying? Come on. Come outside and say it to my face, nigga. Come outside and say it to my face. So then he said he was. So then he called me a bitch because I brought some niggas with me, right? Only brought some niggas with me for one, because I didn't have no damn car. I wasn't no other way for me to get there. I wasn't finna pay no $80, no 40, 50 minute Uber to go to this nigga crib type shit, you feel me? That's number one, and number two, I don't know who he with, I don't know what's going on in his house, I don't know what's going on, so of course I'm not gonna pull up by myself, but I'm not a bitch. I'm not, I'm way far from a bitch, so I'm like, nigga, step outside, we can do this right here, what's up? We can do this right here, nigga, we ain't got I'm not. I dropped this shit from off my, I dropped the gun, nigga, fuck this guy, I'll drop it off my hip, we can box, I will really beat y'all, I will like kill you, nigga. Like, it was already made in my mind I was finna beat this nigga to death while I was finna shoot him. Like, no cap. Since it looked like he wasn't no street nigga at all. Like, he didn't look like he was, like, tight. He was light-skinned ass nigga with feel me, some baggy jeans pulled up all the way up to his belly button and shit. Like, I could just tell he wasn't, like, even if he got mad as hell, he wouldn't, like, do no shit like that. So I'm like, nigga, you right. You ain't even on that. Let's box then. Come on. You, you was talking all that shit. Let's box. This nigga did not come outside now one time, bro. He was probably arguing for a cool 30 minutes. And then my homies grabbed me. And they like, bro, the police finna come, bro. We been out here yelling for too long. The neighbors coming outside. It's just like we loud as hell. We all got guns on us. One of the niggas I was with was on probation. It was like it wasn't going on, bro. It wasn't just happening. So they grabbed me, they threw me in the car, boom. So I text her phone. I'm like, bitch, you got me fucked up. You got me ten times fucked up. All this, that, the third. I'm done fucking with you and tell that nigga if I see him, it's smoke. I never seen that nigga again, you know what I'm saying? But that girl, like, I, st I kept messing with her. I ain't gonna lie, you feel me? But that was the first and only time I really had it made up in my mind. Like, all right, I'm finna, I'm finna, I'm finna, I'm finna catch a case today, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm made that up in my mind. I didn't do nothing. I didn't act on it. I didn't like, you know what I'm saying? I, ain't nothing happened. Uh, thank God. Cause you feel me? I, I would hate to like, but I just, I would hate to like my whole life to be over for like some shit I was mad about in a moment. You know what I'm saying? So ever since that day, I kind of like learned to like just calm myself down. Know that I'm that nigga and all the other little shit ain't worth it, bro. I want to tell y'all, I want to share this story for two reasons, bro. One, because it really happened. You know what I'm saying? And this entertaining story. And number two, y'all always know I like to teach y'all like, you feel me? Be an example. Positive example, bro. Don't make sure you do not ever let your emotions control your decisions, bro. Don't do it, bro, because... If, if it would've went the way that it was going on in my head, I already made it up, bro. If it would've, if it would've went that way, I would've been in jail. 
Like prison. I'll, I, I'm not that type of nigga. I'm not a gangster. I'm not a gang banging ass. I'm not a bitch by any means. You know what I'm saying? I will really kill a nigga if I have to. You feel me? But I, only if I'm in defense of my own life. You see what I'm saying? And I will really like, you know what I'm saying? I pray, I'm not gonna rule, you know what I'm saying? I never have to do that and never get an altercation like that. But I will do it if I had to. But it's just like, bro, you don't wanna be mad for 10 minutes or an hour or two hours. And then go do something, whether it's whatever the case is, bro. Rob somebody, kill somebody, beat somebody. All these are charges. You don't want to be in jail, like, for real. That, that, that's not, for, that's not, especially niggas like me. I'm not that nigga. I'm too smart for that. And I know I'm too smart for that. You feel me? I really want to let y'all know if y'all younger watching this video, man, just make sure y'all learn all y'all emotions, bro. Because emotions is real as hell, whether you a nigga or a female. And then just, like, you, it can really ruin your life, bro. So just make sure y'all control that shit, man. It's your boy, man, Moolah, aka Mr. Moolah Magdo. And I'm over there like the Autobots. I hope y'all like that video. Smash that thumbs up button. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. I'm out. Give a fuck about what you say. She said she hated how I treat. Cause I'm a, cheater. I'm a cheater If she told you that I need her Then don't believe, don't believe her. her That's why I'm not with nobody Cause I don't wanna hurt nobody Baby nobody. I love you but I hate to say I think I love her too And she ain't got no problem doing things you never do Ain't focused on no bitch I'm tryna get